just the trend. I mean, I thought we were about to see the first touchdown. It might not happen. It's going to be a screenplay. Brock Breeze, he has time. Yo, yo, hello, guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Metro Johnny, and this is Mad 20 Subscriber League with all my subscribers in the league. If you want to join, it's never too late. Leave a player down below in the comments of any of these videos. And um, just you, all you have to do is pick a position, what you want your player name to be, and then I'll submit you in the NFL draft where you will then get to see your player get drafted from one of the 32 teams in the NFL. And then you'll get to watch his career play out. This is year number four. And if you're just joining here, man make sure to start from the beginning it, it'll be worth it because you'll get to see a lot of trash talk a lot of build up and a lot of history between the players that are already into the league that way you're caught up today is the divisional round the arizona cardinals versus the seattle seahawks both teams come in here healthy and this is a rival match guys this is a big freaking matchup and so we're going to take a look at the arizona cardinals we have Hooten, who was a wide receiver for Jacksonville. He got the nickname Crybaby because that's what he did a lot, but he's really matured, um, you know, a lot since then. And he's he's coming in and he's led Arizona to a divisional round. And he's he's doing his thing. He's proving the NFL and he's proving all the haters wrong. Then running back, they don't have anybody. They don't have a running back and there's some big news saying that Zach Keister is going to be in an Arizona Cardinals jersey next season. And that's going to make this team even more deadly. We'll have to see, though. As for right now, they have no running back. They have Francis Ross and Sheldon Knight. We'll have to keep our eyes on them and see what happens. It even works out even better that Zach Keister's coming here because Francis Ross is actually, this is his last year on his contract. He's a seven-year vet. Chances are they're not going to re-sign him, especially if they get Zach Keister. So we'll have to see what happens. Um, as far as wide receivers go, you have to watch. They are pretty pretty in-depth. They have Matt Carson, um, Avian Baron. But this is the guy you want to watch out for. Rookie Troy Smith, subscriber, 21 years old, already an 87 overall. He is a freaking beast of a player. You're going to have to stop this guy. Right now, he's playing in the slot, and in my opinion, those are the most deadliest um, wideouts. So, Ray Covington, that's not a subscriber. Moving on to the defense. Uh, Arizona's got some defensive subscribers, starting off with Jared Bazak, Middle linebacker, 22 years old, 88 overall. He's ready to crush anyone in his way, and he'll do exactly that. Then you have... Rookie of the Year, Rookie of the Year Award, s freaking Ball Hawk Award winner, I believe. The Beast himself, strong safety, Ryan Mackey. He's coming in at an 88 overall already in his, in his rookie year. And, I mean, he deserves every bit of that overall because he's played phenomenal. I think you got to watch out for this guy. He just seems to get better and better with every game that he plays. And then, of course, we can't forget about subscriber punter Daniel Zimmer. He is the best punter in the league. He's a beast. Moving on to the Seattle Seahawks, you have subscriber quarterback Will Cons, 27 years old, 89 overall. Uh, he, he's, he's good. I mean, he, he's, he's a very good quarterback, just doesn't get talked too much about, but he is very solid. I think he's going to surprise a lot of people here today. You have Brock Breeze, subscriber running back. Again, a good average guy who can do exactly what you need him to do when you call on his number. You got subscriber Albert Price, 92 overall. Besides that, they kind of drop off. You have TJ Jackson. <laughs> If you guys remember him, I actually he's actually I don't know um I didn't I guess I missed the news but he's actually back TJ Jackson. Well, wow. a lot of you guys may not know who he is. You'd have to watch the whole series here. We'll see if we see him on the field. His overalls, man, he's not 
doing the best these days, but he's still on the the, the squad. He's still there. Um, his acceleration 64, speed's 95. He's a 74 overall. I don't know if we'll probably see him start, man. He's, he's, oh, man. All right, moving on. We're going to move on. Uh, let's see. We got, for defense, I'm not too sure if they have anyone. I don't think Chris Garay is a subscriber. Um, is there anybody? We don't really hear about the Seattle Seahawks that much. I don't think there are any other subscribers on this team. So there it is. Those are the subscribers. You got a couple. Um, we'll see what they can do. They're, they're all three on offense, or all four on offense. And um, this is gonna be this is going to be a good game. I believe it's gonna come down to the wire. You guys, let me know what you think's about to happen. But let's let's stop wasting time here. Let's uh let's. Let's get some football playing. Alrighty, here we go. The stadium is filled with fans. We have another cold game here, but the snow isn't falling here today. But this is a big matchup for both teams. And we're going to watch the first drive of both of both sides. Arizona decided to come out here in their um, a new jersey. I haven't actually seen these. Um, and right off the rip, it's it's hooting to Troy Smith. I believe. Wait, is that Troy Smith? No, no, my bad. That's Carson. My bad. My bad. Carson there with the catch. Troy Smith is at the top of your screen, actually. I do believe he is a superstar um, factor here. But it's gonna be a handoff to the running back, and just like in the last episode, just because his overall is. is is lower doesn't mean that uh, he can't run the ball as Larson proved that last episode but we'll see what happens here it's another run he breaks a tackle and stays up and possibly picked up the first down I think he's a little short third and one they come out shotgun okay possibly be a pass here in bunch uh, Hooten steps back he's gonna pass it and he, that time he connects with Troy Smith I like that target on third down, and I like getting the rookie a target in the opening drive to, to kind of ease those nerves a little bit. So good play calling all around so far. Arizona, oh, pretended to look back to hand. I like that. I don't know if you guys have noticed that or seen that. It, it was like a, a fake handoff note, and then he passed it. And I, I, was, I like that. He sold it real well. Second and four now. And it's going to be a handoff here. And that goes backwards to set up a third down. We'll see here. This is gonna be <laughs> again. I don't. I don't. I don't even want to say who I think is gonna win because I really just don't know. This is gonna be. This is probably the tightest game. I think this is gonna be the tightest game we've seen. Third and seven. Hooten steps back. Has no time. He gets hit. They sent the blitz. It does get through, and Moulton with the sack. Hooting a little upset there, but uh, that drive stopped pretty early. So Daniel Zimmer punts at 53 yards. Holy crap. And it is a touchback. We will now see Will Cons come out. Onto the field for the opening drive here. I do expect them to hand it off to Brock Breeze a lot in this game. He's a pretty good running back. He can do a lot of what you need him to, but that time he gets stuffed. He gets cracked. And it sets up a second and 11. It wouldn't surprise me if we were to see a defensive game. I do expect whatever game we do have here today, it's going to be a close one between these two teams. There's Ryan Mackey and Matthews there with the tackle. Sets up a third and two. I love watching this Arizona defense. It's currently my favorite defense to watch in the league with Ryan Mackey and Jared Bazak. They're just deadly. And that's a three and out. A three and out for the Seattle Seahawks. And we may, we may have a close one, fellas. We are going to sim this and start speeding it up a little bit. First, a handoff, then another handoff. The Ross sets up a third and one. And another three-yard rush. And so now they're, they're ground they're ground and pounding this ball down the field. Trying to wear out that defense. And that's a penalty against Joe Santos. 
Santos. And Arizona's driving down the field, but they go backwards now. Third and 10 here, big play, and it's an 11 yard pass to Matt Carson. And that's exactly what you want to see. Going backwards again, second and 12. Another play going backwards. Third and 15 now, and it's a four yard little dump off pass to his wide receiver there. Sets up a fourth and 11. A 54 yard field goal is up and is good by Chris Sparks, a 54 yarder. And they take the lead for the first time today. Brock Breeze, handoff, Will Cons and the Seattle Seahawks trying not to go three and out once again, but that's exactly what they do after getting sacked by Spencer Lambert. Another three and out, and that'll end the first quarter of play. Arizona gets the ball, but they're starting in horrible field position. And it's a third and five here. You don't want to go three and out here. But that's exactly what they'll do. So far, it's been a defensive game. A 70-yard freaking punt by <laughs> freaking Daniel Zimmer. Dude, he's a beast. First and 10. Uh, Seahawks haven't even picked up a first down yet. <laughs> Will they be able to? Third and five. Six yard, there it is. Deshaun Dur Durham, you get that first down. Maybe now things will start to to kind of move better for you. Doesn't look like that's the case, though. Another third down, third and five, but they pick it up. Brock Breeze reception right there. That screenplay really worked, 15-yard, and they're past the 50, and that's another 15-yard. We're going to go ahead and watch the rest of this drive. Um, it's 3-2-0, about halfway through the second quarter. Finally, Seattle has something moving on offense. We'll see what happens here. Man in motion. Secret, secret. And Khan steps back, throws it to Brock Breeze. Makes a man miss, kind of, not really. Gets brought down by Jared Bazak and company. Second and one. Will Khan's handoff, Brock Breeze up the middle, but gets stuffed. One on one, he has five rushes, only two yards to show for it. They have really, really stopped the breeze here today so far. Third and two. Cons, another handoff, and this time he's going to find his way through, and he picks up the first down. And they keep the drive alive. First and ten, Cons. Hand off to Brock Breeze once again. This time he's got room, and he's brought down by Ryan Mackey. Out, he gets to the secondary level of the defense and sets up a second and one. And he's going to go out and get a breather now. Second string back is in, so it's going to be a pass. And he felt the pressure, got scared, throws it away. Third and one. Brock Breeze is still not back. And expect a run here to the second string running back. It's a play action. He's got him wide open, though. And he doesn't get there in time. I don't think he was he cut back in time. No, he's inches short of the first down. Good cleanup tackle by Allen right there. And I guess they're deciding to go for the field goal, tie this game up. I like that call. Um, I would probably go for it just because I'm a little aggressive. But, hey. You just tied the game up. So that's, that's good. So. We'll go back to simming this game a little bit. If we get a drive that hits inside the red zone, we will watch it. Third and two. Troy Smith with a seven-yard rush, it said. Okay. Third and two again, this time going backwards, though. Why are the wide receivers getting handoffs? I, this is weird. I guess they're playing the Wildcat a little bit. But a good punt by Daniel Zimmer. Makes Seattle, as much here squeaks, makes Seattle start inside the 10. First and 10. Brock Breeze handoff here. And we have, we're having a defensive game. This is, I mean, I said if, if these games are going to be, whatever they are, it's going to be close. And so far, that's what it's been. 11-yard reception right there. Seattle gets sacked after, I thought they had something moving. McAllister gets to Will Cons, setting up a second and 13. Another, oh, and then a 10-yard penalty holding against the offense, Wade Glinson. And, yeah, just go ahead and run it into halftime at this point. That's exactly what they'll try and do here. 
They will end up giving Arizona some time, but they'll have about 14 seconds to try and do something with it, but they won't do anything, and we're going into halftime. 3-3, three to three. wow, what an eventful <laughs> game so far this has been. Um, all the other games have kind of been like high-scoring games. This one, there's literally only six points on the board with both teams combined, so we'll see what happens here. 14-yard reception to Javante Lawrence. First and 10, incomplete pass by Will Kahn. Second and 10, eight-yard rush by Brock Breeze. And it's third and two, and did he get it? He did get it. First and 10, they're past the 50-yard line. And, you know, that's close enough. Let's get some football. Let's watch some of this game, man. We're going to watch the rest of this drive play out as they pass the 50-yard line. Seattle get ready, get ready, get ready. trying to get on the board, trying to get in the end zone, I mean, for the first time. It's going to be a handoff, Brock Breeze. He's got room, nothing but room. He makes Ryan Mackey miss. He's got that nothing but daylight. He, he got brought down, but, man, he did break the rookie's ankles right there. For a second, I thought after that juke, he was gone, but Arizona actually swarmed him pretty quickly. But let's take another look at this. Up the middle right here, look. Ryan Mackey, oh, misses the tackle right there. I thought he was going to be gone, but uh, they did. Arizona's defense did good job at recovering, but look at this. Oh, man, you don't want to be on a highlight like that. That sucks. That is rough right there but um Still in search of their first yeah first and ten good good run by Brock Breeze like I said he's he's a good running back it's gonna be another handoff no play action guy in his face gets hit as he throws it and it's thrown away just got it out of bounds Ryan Mackey was over there ready um luckily he was able to put enough on it so second and ten now what will they do here it's gonna be a handoff to Brock Breeze who gets stuck Nothing happening. Chances of us seeing another field goal here are pretty high as these defenses have really shown up here today. They all know what's on the line, an NFC championship battle. You don't want to go home here. Well, Cons finds a guy wide open down the field. And they're three yards away from getting into the end zone for the first time. And there it is. So, first and goal, three yards away. Seattle in this offense, handoff, broken tackle, then gets brought down. It's the second string trying to make a name for himself. And if you guys do hear my chair squeak, which I, I'm sure you have, <laughs> I got to get a new one. It's This one's pretty old, so I do apologize for that. But uh, second and goal. See what happens here, Will Cons. Gonna step back this time, but a guy in his face, he hasn't really had a lot of time when he when he goes back past. That time it's Joe Madden to tackle him. And it's third and goal now. I mean, I thought we were about to see the first touchdown. It might not happen. It's gonna be a screenplay. Brock Breeze, he has time, he has the blockers, but no, Arizona. The way they just closed in on that, they <laughs> They played that phenomenal, and they do stop Seattle. I mean, look at this. At first, it looks like, okay, he's got enough blockers. I don't really know what happened there, man. He just got Arizona's defense played phenomenal. They bend, but they did not break. And the field goal is up, and the field goal is good, my friend. Six to three. What a game. What a defensive game this is. I mean, this is crazy. But we're going to go ahead and start simming this. Let's see what Arizona can do on offense first and 10. And the opening dri drive there. Third and two. They don't <laughs> they don't want to go three and out here. See what they can do. And it's a six-yard reception. That's a nice first and 10. So these little passes are working. Second and three. Then a handoff. Six-yard rush. Past the 50-yard line. Got something moving. First and 10. 13-yard reception to Ray Covington. And now you're doing something here. Second and nine. Going backwards with Francis Ross. Third and 12 now. You want to at least get in field goal range. That's what they try to do here. It's fourth and seven. They're at the 32-yard line. This is a makeable field goal here. We'll see if they can make it. It's a 49-yard field goal. And the 49-yard field goal is up and good. And just like that, we're right back tied. This time, it's our six to six. Holy crap. Seattle gets the ball back. 
big pass, two big passes to start the drive off, second and three now. It's a five yard rush, picking up the first down, first and 10, and you're across the 50. So just like that, you're getting close to field goal range. Second and nine, three yard rush by Brock Breeze, and that's the end of the third quarter, folks. We have one more quarter to go, and it's tied up here. Third and seven, it's a 20 yard, 24 yard pass and catch to Albert Price. And once again, Arizona's defenses are on their heels. Here we go, here we go. Two drives in a row now. Will Cons has figured something out. It's going to be a handoff. Brock Breeze, he gets stuck, though. Arizona's defense really needs their offense to step up. They've held Seattle six points. They can't do this the, this whole game. You need to score if you want to win this game. Will Kahn steps back. He knows how to score, he says. He cut, finds his wide receiver. Holy crap. Don't tell me, is that... Don't tell me, is that TJ Jackson? Okay, no, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's Lawrence. Jay Lawrence with the huge catch. And just like that, they're three yards away once again. Now, we remember what happened last time they were within three yards. It's two yards away this time. Maybe it'll be a different outcome. First and goal to hand off Brock Breeze, who gets stuffed right up the middle. And I've, I mean, Arizona's defense is fighting. They need their offense, you know, to step up. Three yards away. Can they get another stop? Will Kahn steps back, has time, throws it almost pill. Oh, my goodness. The big boy was out there. He, he, you know, he's not known for his hands, and that's exactly why he plays on the defensive line. But he, he did his job. He stopped that play. Will Kahn steps back, and it's... Is that Jared Bazak? It is Jared Bazak with a huge sack. And this defense needs help. Arizona's offense, Hooten needs to get a drive going as they've been but don't break once again. Look at Bazak. Just cracked Will Cons and has forced them to take another field goal. That's two times now they've been within five yards of scoring a touchdown and the Cardinals defense has stepped up and got two goal line stops now. Now this should be an easy makeable field goal for Seattle. It's up and it is good. Right down the middle. Our score is now nine to six. I mean, we got to see something change here for Arizona's offense. They've been shut down here today. So here we go. First and ten. They'll start it off with an incomplete pass by Hooten. Second and 10, three yard rush by Ross. It's now third and seven. Ah, man, this is rough. Do not want to go three and out here. And that's exactly what they don't do. 16 yard reception. We're going to watch the rest of this drive. Big pass right there. One third and seven. And we have less than eight minutes left to play in this game. It's a three point game. Hooten now out in the backfield shotgun formation here. Expect a pass. But it's going to be a delayed run, and that's not going to go anywhere. 23 rushes for him, only 34 yards, dude. Why are they still running it to this guy? You got to pass the ball. Second and 11. Try and get Troy Smith involved here. See what happens. Hooten steps back. He has time. He's going to need to get rid of it, though. He does. He's going downfield. It's caught by none other than Troy Smith. The guy I said get involved has a huge catch right there. You've kind of secured tying this game up now. You could try and look to take the lead. Newton steps back. Don't take a sack here. He, oh, that's a dangerous pass. That's a very dangerous pass for Hooten there. And it sets up second and ten. Hooten steps back. This time he's got a guy open and... I believe that is Carson. This time it is. He takes a big hit there. But um, he picks up the first down. And Arizona, finally, we get to see them actually threaten the end zone. They're at the 20-yard line. I think this is the closest they've been all day. It's late in the fourth. Hand off. Ross breaks the tackle, then gets crushed right after. And he's, he hasn't really had any help either, by the way. I mean, that offensive line hasn't really opened up any holes. Arizona, they're in the pistol. They like to play the pistol a lot here. Second and 14, we'll see what it does for him. He's got a guy wide open there. Who is that? It's Barron. 
I believe. He picks up the first down. He had enough. Big play call right there. Inside 10 yards now. Delayed handoff up the middle. Breaks. No, can't break the tackle, but he does make it to the five-yard line. And it is now second and goal. Seattle on their heels here. No team has been able to get into the end zone up to this point. Can the Cardinals change that? They'll have one more play to do so. It's third and goal. Shotgun formation. Hand off, and he had, dude, he had a hole to the left, but he cuts up the middle. They need a running back big time. The awareness just is not there for these guys. They don't have good running backs. Let's take another look. Look at the, what this replay doesn't really show much, but there was a hole to the left. I don't know if you guys seen it. And he, he chose to try and cut up that smaller hole, and, and it doesn't work. And now you're just you're settling for a field goal, and that sucks for Arizona. But at least you tied the game up, and it's now 9-9. Nine to nine. I didn't expect us to have this big of a defensive game. We've yet to see a freaking touchdown by any offense here. And uh, that's pretty, it's pretty cool, actually. First and 10 at four Seattle's and Will Cons. Here we go. Nine yard rush by Brock Breeze. If they get to that 40, I'm going to watch it. Okay, we'll watch it since it's the end of the game here. I don't want to miss anything big. First and 10. Probably get one more snap off before the two minute warning. And it's going to be a hand. No play action. Will Cons keeps it. He's going down the field, and it's caught. Guy wide open. Down the field. First down here in Seattle. Century Link Field. First and 10. They're inside field goal range. And they have all the momentum. Hand off to Brock Breeze going up the middle and fighting his way through. 21 rushes, 77 yards. He's having a good day. Second and seven. It's going to be another handoff. That's the smart call. Jared Bazak there with the help. He's had a good game today. Third and seven. Arizona, they're going to save their timeouts for later. Brock Breeze tackles him, and I would expect the timeout here. They do. So it's coming down to this field goal here. We've literally seen nothing but field goals here today. And this is 22 yard, uh, from the 22-yard line. Not too sure how big of a field goal this is. I would assume in the 30s, and it's up, and it's right down the middle. 12 to 9 is our score, and Hooten will have one minute and four seconds to work with, with only two timeouts. It's plenty of time in real life, but it does worry me in Madden. That's not as much time as you would think in Madden. So here we go. It's caught here. We'll see what happens. Troy Smith takes it almost out to the 30-yard line. Good return. Come on now, let's go. And Arizona knows what's on the line. The NFC Championship. You want to at least get in field goal range. Hooten's coming out on the field. Your defense has done exactly what they needed to do all game. The offense has kind of let them down. This is your chance to make up for it. Let's watch the rest of this game. I better not see any runs. If I see a run, I'm going to rage. Here we go. Hooten steps back, has time. He dumps it off to the running back who makes a move. And, I mean, I know I'm just going to see those. I should already prepare for it. Dude, a 12-second runoff. Oh, my goodness. Hooten steps back, goes deep. It's caught by Carson. Call a timeout. And they do. They call exactly that. First and 10, you're almost in field goal range. Don't take a sack here, and you'll be okay. Hooten steps back, has time. No, he doesn't. He gets, he fumbles it. But the offensive line picks it up, and now they use the last time out, which means they're not going to have. They let the clock, this is what really bugs me about Madden. They let that clock run out, and then they call it the timeout. And that's just a glitch that EA just doesn't care about to fix. So Hooten steps back, second and 12. It's caught, and that's game, my friends. The Seattle Seahawks defense shines true. It's Hooten shitting the bed. Well, not just Hooten. It's, it's all of the offense of Arizona. They all did bad. 
Um, it was just a defensive game. You know, you, you get these every now and again nowadays. But, I mean, the run game for Arizona didn't help at all. I mean, they were completely shut down. And it's Seattle's defense that reigns better. So congratulations to Seattle. You're going to the NFC Championship for Arizona. You're going back home. And, um... They were one of eight teams you know, I'm not going to let to and win the, the EA and the time management, you know, ruin it. Like, the team who was supposed to win won. But I just wish EA would fix that um, glitch where, like, the team lets the other team – or, I mean, the team lets the clock run out, like the 12-second the runoff or 11-second runoff, and then they call their timeout. That's not realistic. But – um. That's why you make sure you're not the team that has the score in the last drive of the game. So the Seattle Seahawks won this game, and they won it fair, and they, they deserved it. Hooten didn't play bad. I mean, he had a, it wasn't Hooten's fault. I think I was being a little too hard on him. He didn't do anything wrong to lose this game. So I do take that back. He, he, he played great. I mean, both quarterbacks played great. This is where it's different, though. Arizona didn't have a freaking run game. This dude averaged under two. If, if I ever see, if I see this guy on another team, I, I would be I would be surprised. I would not sign this guy. Twenty five attempts and you have thirty four yards. That's less than two yards per carry. That's barely making one yard per carry. And that's where it was different. Seattle had a run game, as to where Arizona literally did not have a run game at all. Um. As far as Troy Smith, he did good. He had three receptions, 46 yards. Um, and so did Albert Price. He was kind of quiet. He only had that one catch. And then taking a look at the defensive side for Arizona, Jared Bazak played his heart out, six tackles, one sack. And it was a big sack as well. Um, Ryan Mackey, he had four tackles. Wasn't too big like as far as plays, but he, he was up there. About, you know, halfway with his tackles. But, I mean, it, this was a defensive game, and Seattle, they won the game fair and square. So now my question is, who do you think is going to be in the Super Bowl? We are now down to the AFC and the NFC Championship of year number four. The question now is, who do you think is going to do it all? Really quick before we end this episode, we will take a look at the playoff schedule as we now see exactly what's going down. We have the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Minnesota Vikings, and then you have the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Who do you think is going to go to the Super Bowl? I Right now, I'll, I'll pick mine, and I'm going to say I think it's going to be Uh, this is hard. I think I'm going to say it's going to be the Minnesota Vikings versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's what I'll say. Purple, The purple versus yellow, they dominated both their games. Um, I'm more confident with my Pittsburgh pick than I am with my Minnesota. Just because Minnesota, they, even though they whooped up on the Bears, man, I can still see Seattle just stomping them with their defense. But I'm, I would say my confident pick is Pittsburgh going all the way. I think the Colts are good. They're there. They won it last year. But just the way Pittsburgh is playing, I just don't think the Colts are – like the Colts really barely beat the Chargers. Like it was, it was too close. It shouldn't have been that close. Pittsburgh, they beat a good team. And, but they didn't just beat them. They dominated them. So Pittsburgh – First, the Minnesota Vikings is my guest. You guys let me know down in the comments who do you think is going to make it. And also, all my guys in the NFL draft, be ready because it's getting closer for your time to shine. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.